Hi guys, today I'm gonna tie a fly I named after the broom. It's tied on a Sakuma Manta 546 long shank, size 60. This is not a quick fly to tie, even if the material list is short. It's bucktail, craft fur, and a flash called neon flash. But first, as usual, gonna cover the hook shank with some tying thread and of course fly ties best friend super glue need to speed up a little bit here then just to cut off the excess now we have a nice non-slippery ground for our materials and it's time for the first material I'm gonna use bucktail for the tail part here if you don't find quality bucktail, you can use schlappen fetters too. I used to try to find some long, long haired bucktail. It's very hard to find, but I used to buy my bucktail from a shop in Helsinki, which is called Spayclave. They got an extra select collection in awesome colors, and I have to say it's top notch quality. I can highly recommend it. Spread it mostly on the upper side of the hook. And don't forget to secure with super glue. It's always important. Even if you have the non slippery ground here built, so. Still, it's better to secure with super glue. And better here to cut off the excess too because there won't be much room at the end of the shank. So, now I'm gonna add some neon flash. It's some kind of a fluorescent low light flash. Cut off a decent bundle here. Another option for this could be a glow in the dark flash. Also by hand run. But it's all up to you. This works fine too. At least I hope so. Need to keep the flash bundle pretty close to the bucktail. Still gonna remind you that there will be not much space at the end. Of this tying. But you cannot pack it too tight either, otherwise the movement will be ruined. Just use some common sense and everything will be fine. Now a dubbing loop is next in line here. gonna make it about 15 centimeters should be pretty okay I'm not gonna remind you too many times with the super glue anymore hope you remember it well time some for craft tour in this case we're gonna take a orange one So, use a comb to get rid of all the short hair. I think it really make a difference in my opinion. Sorry I have to speed up this video a bit. It's over 30 minutes long and I guarantee no one, no of you likes to sit here with me for 30 minutes. Then it's just to spread the material in the loop evenly, not, not too tight, otherwise it's going to be a total mess and 
If it'll also ruin all the movement and the fly. Take your time with this. It really, really pays off at the end. One thing I also have learned with the craft fur is, is not to spin too fast. It will be much easier to solve all the mess if you don't spin it too fast. Every now and then it's better to use a comb or needle or something to solve up the mess here. The less mess you have here, the better movement you get out from the craft fur. Simple as that. So, moisture your fingers and polymer at around the shank and solve all the mess with the needle every now and then. And uh, you don't have to do it as fast as on this video. And after you have finished, then it's just to secure the loop with the tying thread and cut off the loop. Next bundle of bucktail, and this time I'm gonna tie it in hollow style because I want some special slope on it just to, to get a nice shape on the fly. I used to get rid of all short hair here too. And after this bundle, it's mostly repeating bucktail flash craft for always up to the hook eye. So I think we can speed up the video a bit here again. As you can see there's no, not much space left on my hook shank anymore and still we got a lot of tying to do here. We gotta add one bundle of bucktail and, and one dumbing loop with craft fur and all this will be added after we, this 
Little group. So, we'll see what's happened. I could spin this a little bit faster than the first one, just to show you how much more mess it will cause. There's much more mess to solve out now. This is what happened when I tried to hurry up spinning. Anyway, ready now for just to polymer up the, the loop around the shank. It's going to be a tight one this to get one bundle of bucktail and one more dubbing loop on this one. If it don't fit then don't make it fit because you're going to lose a lot of movement in that case. So if the space run out then cut off and leave the fly like that. It's going to be much better that way. But I think we can manage to put up here both the bucktail and uh, one dubbing loop we craft for yet so we'll see we'll see and I'm gonna tie this also in hollow style and as you can see I still leave a small space in front of of the dubbing loop here even if I risk the, that the last dubbing loop won't fit in here in this case I I got a plan B in my pocket I will just add some flash in front of this fly so you can always use your fantasy while you're tying up these flies too, so not need to follow the recipe 100%. By cutting off the excess of the bucktail here it might look a bit unnecessary but in my opinion it takes away some floating attributes from your fly and also improve the movement so that's the reason why I used to do it. Almost forgot that we need to add some of this neon flash too here. This ain't a flash that forces the pikes to wear sunglasses, it's not some holographic stuff, so you can use it pretty much in these flies. Try to get even on the underside some strands of it, so And as you can see, there is still a lot of room, almost, almost about 5 millimeters to do a dubbing loop, so it's gonna be a small one, but it don't need to be a big one, just add something as a head for the fly, that's the whole meaning of this last dubbing loop, and I'm gonna use a uh, I don't remember the exact name, was it navy blue or some kind of a blue craft food to this one. So you can take a decent bundle here, in the, here even if you got a little space to tie in but it's easy to stop palmering as soon as you come to the hook eye so a little bit too much stuff in here so
So, final polymering and then just to add the eyes. If you want to add eyes, I prefer always to put eyes on my bike flies. A little bit too long loop here, so we're gonna cut it off in the middle. Now it's just some whip finishing left here in this on this fly. Now we got only the eyes left and I just saw that I'm running out of glue very soon. I haven't found this contact glue in gel form yet so perhaps I'm also forced to attach these eyes with super glue in near future if I don't get luck in some shop. I have liked this glue a lot, but everything ends. I think I can do one or two flies with this glue, so. Right, oh, so we're pretty much done. One thing I used to do, I used to hold this fly under some warm water and dry it up hanging from the hook eye so the fly will take its form, looks better that way. So it's ready.